This is Chris Smiley with If Americans New. We have horrific breaking news in Gaza as a Palestinian demonstration for human rights has turned into a massacre. At least 14 unarmed Palestinians have been killed by Israeli soldiers, some as young as 16 years old, and more than 1,400 others have been wounded, including women, children, the elderly, and journalists. 30,000 Palestinians have come down to the border with Israel today in what is being called the March of Return. They are calling for the right of Palestinian refugees to return to their homes inside of Israel after they were violently expelled in 1948 to create the Jewish State of Israel. This event is known as the Nakba. Palestinians in Gaza were inspired by Gandhi to put together a truly massive march to win their rights. They have organized a six-week sit-in demonstration along the Gaza border. It started today, which commemorates Land Day, and will lead up to the anniversary of the Nakba on May 15th. Land Day remembers March 30th, 1976, when six unarmed Palestinian citizens of Israel were killed by Israeli forces during protests against the Israeli government's decision to confiscate massive amounts of Palestinian land in the Galilee. The land was taken in order to make it for Jews only. Today, just like that fateful day in 1976, Israeli forces again use lethal force on unarmed Palestinian protesters. The Israeli army's chief of staff announced the deployment of 100 special forces snipers and several infantry brigades to the border with permission to fire. Generals told Israel's security cabinet there will be Palestinian casualties, and indeed there was today. Here a Palestinian man walks toward the border and is gunned down. Another man also walks toward the border holding a Palestinian flag, and he is also shot. Here we see a man running away from the border, back to the crowd of demonstrators, and is being shot at. A young man runs in to help him carry a tire and is then viciously gunned down. Another video shows a group of Palestinians praying together when a man is shot in the lower body by snipers. One of the murdered victims has been identified as Muhammad Abu Amro. Muhammad was an artist, and just yesterday he went down to a Gazan beach to construct this. It says, I will return to my village. Muhammad is referring to the village his family was expelled from in 1948 that became part of the Jewish state of Israel. Muhammad's family was one of more than 200,000 that fled to Gaza during the ethnic cleansing campaign known to Palestinians as the Nakba. Towards the end of the conflict in 1948, the United Nations passed Resolution 194, which says the Palestinians have the right to return to their villages they were expelled from. However, to this day, Israel has not allowed that to happen. It has now been 70 years since the Nakba. Human rights groups such as Adala and B'Tselem have condemned Israel's actions that shooting unarmed demonstrators like Muhammad is illegal and any command allowing such action is manifestly illegal. B'Tselem also said that Israel's presumption that it can also dictate the actions of Palestinians inside the Gaza Strip is absurd. The decision where and whether and how to demonstrate in Gaza is not Israel's to make, not with regard to the demonstrations, nor in general with regard to daily life. Gaza has been under a crippling blockade from Israel, resulting in a humanitarian disaster that has been well documented and denounced by human rights groups. The Palestinians in Gaza are not only demonstrating for their right to return to their homes, where their families have lived for hundreds of years, but they are also demonstrating for their ability to live. The United Nations has said that Gaza will become uninhabitable very soon if conditions persist. The Israeli army regularly uses violence and sharpshooters against unarmed Palestinian protesters. Along the Gaza border, protests regularly result in Palestinian casualties. After numerous casualties in just the first day of a planned six-week demonstration, the fear for the loss of more life has human rights organizations fearful and taking action. Our organization, If Americans New, is urging citizens to contact their government representatives. If you're an American, you can click on the link in the description to find out who your congressional representative is and how to contact them. Thank you for watching. Please share this video and we'll keep you up to date with the situation as it unfolds.